mail friends. Today I have a long awaited second half of the fantasy collection from Glam and Glitz. I have a bunch of colors here to show you guys. I don't want to waste any time. So let's just jump right into it. So the first one, I actually skipped it by accident on my last video, but that's okay because these don't have to be in order, I guess. But basically I just want to show you guys the whole collection. This is the second half, so it doesn't really matter if they're jumbled. I just tried to make it easier by doing it in order that was on the website. So to start, we're gonna start with Gypsy. So Gypsy looks like it's gold and brown and iridescent glitters. I had this one in my collection for a while, but I haven't even got to use it yet. Okay, so here's how Gypsy looks. It's just a nice fall kind of color. It's got gold, copper, and brown, and then it has some iridescent flakes in it. So I think this would be great for the fall. Up next is Gorgeous Gold. I actually have used this once and I'll insert a picture right now showing you guys what I did it with. I did it with black and I really liked it. So it's kind of reminds me of sterling silver, but in the gold version. So here's how gorgeous gold looks. It's just a basic yellow gold. It's got different size and shape holographic flakies in it and some iridescent flakes as well. So you can really see it when I turn it over. And then this is what it would look like on a finished filed nail. Up next is Blutiful. Ooh, this one's pretty. I haven't looked at this one yet. So most of the ones that I'm showing you guys, I haven't actually seen yet because I just put them in a cupboard until I was able to film this. So I haven't seen this one yet. Okay, so here's how Blutiful turned out. I really like this one. It's like blue with dark purple and some lighter purple flakes and also has some holographic silver in it. Up next is Evergreen. You guys have seen this before. I have it on my own nails. If you guys haven't seen this video yet, click up here and you can watch that one first. So this one I love, obviously, because it's green and it's holographic and it's beautiful. Yes, I love this one. So that's Evergreen. This one is so pretty. I obviously love this one, so yeah. Moving on. Next we have Love Cycle. This is one I haven't looked at yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just like a pretty fuchsia with some hollow. A lot of these are going to be hollow. I think that's the point of the fantasy collection is they got a lot of holographic glittery ones. Okay, so that's what Love Cycle looks like. This one's pretty. It's kind of underwhelming. Up next is Red Cherry. This one's pretty. Sorry, it won't focus, but that's still really pretty when it won't focus. I think this is the one that I used on my Valentine's Day set. If you guys haven't seen that one, you should watch that one because this, this was used a lot in that set. So that's how Red Cherry looks. Up next we have Pink Delight and let me tell you, this one is so nice. It's like dusty pink. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my god, I love this one. This one's probably one of my favorite ones. So that's what Pink Delight looks like and this one is so pretty. You want this on your nails. I know you do. Up next is Impulse. This one is super nice. I actually use this a few times. Uh, Christmas nails, I have some Christmas designs up on YouTube and I did this in a glass nail tutorial and I will link them both up in the cards if I can. I actually don't know if you can link that many cards, but I'll try. <laughs> okay, so here's how Impulse looks. I really like the way this one turned out. Make sure you guys check out my other videos with this because this one's really nice. So if you're looking for a nice blue, definitely this one. <laughs> this one takes the cake, super pretty. Up next is Wonderstruck. I actually don't think I've seen this one yet. I feel like, I feel like I already have this one in my collection actually, but maybe I don't. This one's cool. This will be really cool at Christmas time got red and green together and hollow. 
It's like the perfect Christmas color. Okay, so here's how Wonderstruck looks. And the one I thought I already had in my collection was actually um, enchanting. They have similar colors in them, but they're not the same. But I thought, I thought maybe I'd already seen this one in my collection, but I was wrong. Up next is Pretty Plush. So this one is really pretty. It's like, it's got light purple and like tiny bits of pink in it. So here's how pretty plush looks. You know, I totally thought this was gonna be a lot lighter based on what it was in here, but you have to remember that these are dry and then when you get them wet, they show the true color. So this is a lot darker than I was expecting, but I do like it. Okay, up next we have pink a rat, pink a rat. I am expecting high hopes of this because I see a lot of people love this one. Ooh, pretty. Okay, it's, uh, it's pretty so far. We'll see. Seems like lots of the other Glam and Glitz lovers love this one, so I thought maybe I'll love it too. They love it so much. Okay, so here's Pink Rat. This one is pretty. It's got like, I don't know. It's kind of like the base is like a really pale see-through pink, and then it's got some iridescent silver in it. I don't know, it doesn't blow me away as much as maybe other people love it a ton, but I think it's nice, it's just, I don't know, I guess I was expecting more. And scene. Okay, this one's cool, it's kind of brown and gold. Another good fall color. So that's how scene looks. I like how fine the glitter is, and again, like I said, this would be a really nice color in the fall, so I've stocked up on all the fall colors. I'm good for uh, September. A long way to go, but, but I'll be ready. Up next we have Oasis. This is another one that I used a lot in the winter in a lot of my YouTube videos, I think, so make sure you check those out. So here's how Oasis turns out. It's super light and airy and pretty. It's just kind of like a really soft blue. Up next is Desert Rose. This is one I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's just like a really nice light pink with some holographic chunky silver glitters in it. Okay, so Desert Rose turned out a little bit darker than I was expecting, but I really like it. I think it's really lovely. Next is Dark Dare. I love the holographic blacks, but I feel like I have quite a few of them now from Glam and & Glitz, and I don't know, I, I, I don't need that many blacks with hollow in it, you know what I mean? See, I have a few now from Glam & Glitz that are black and hollow. So again, this is Dark Dare. This is on Onyx or Onx. And this is Crescent Moon. Okay, so they're all different. Yeah, they're all different, I guess. This one's got like flakes in it. This one's more, this one's not even black. It's almost dark gray. And then this one, yeah, okay, they're all different. <laughs> so here's the finished swatch of Dark Dare. Yeah, I really like it. I like that the black's actually fully black. Not like on Onyx, I don't know. Not like that one where it's almost dark gray or kind of off black or sort of see-through black. I like this one's like fully black. I would say if you're gonna get any holographic black from Glam & Glitz, I would pick Dark Dare out of all of them, I think. Up next is Butterfly. This is another one I haven't seen yet. I just got it in and put it in my closet, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm just letting that dry before I show it with you guys, but I just want to show you guys this compared with maybe um, Cashmere, because it kind of reminds me of Cashmere, and Cashmere's from the Diamond Collection. So this is what Butterfly looks like. So pretty, hey? Oh my god. That's actually really pretty. When you get it all spread out like that, you can really see all the glitter. And then this one's Cashmere. Okay, they're very similar. But obviously Butterfly has like darker pink in it. Oh, these are so pretty. I feel like these are underrated. Like I haven't been using them enough. I'm definitely gonna, gonna be throwing these into more sets. Up next is Rich Core. I also have this one on my nails right here. This one is green, almost like, like a chartreuse color. It can almost pass as gold. And that's what Rich Core looks like all done. 
Raise your hand if you love rich core as much as me. Up next we have Dove. For some reason I feel like I've showed you guys this. You can't really see it. <laughs> it's just white with glitter in it. I feel like this one really doesn't go in this collection, you know? It's like plain white with some chunky glitters in it. I don't know. It's just... It's like the only solid color in it. It's like the only one with pigment, you know? You probably can't see any of the glitter in it, but it does have some chunky iridescent glitters in it. I did use this in a video and I remember because I struggled to get it nice around the cuticle area because of the chunky pieces in it. But uh, yeah, I'm not like a big fan of this one. If I'm gonna use a white, I'd prefer to add my own glitter in it or have fine glitter in it. Up next is Jaunty. This is another one I have not looked at yet. So let's open this up. Oh, this one's kind of like butterfly and cashmere. Oh, this one's really pretty. I really like this one. <laughs> I say that all the time. I like most of the colors. Who doesn't like glitter? While this is drying, let's compare Jaunty with Cashmere. Okay, Jaunty, Cashmere. I can see that there's differences, but let's take a look. Oh my god, I love Jaunty! This one's so nice! Okay, you can see that uh, they're similar with the iridescent, but this one almost has like a purple undertone with the iridescence. And this one has that green and pink iridescent look. So I really, really like Jaunty. I'm definitely going to be mixing that into a bunch of uh, sets coming up. Next is Innocent Sin. Okay, I haven't played with this one yet. Oh, cool. So here's how Innocent Sin turns out. I really like this one because it's different and the holographic uh, glitters in it are square. Do you guys see that? It's kind of cool. Up next is Platinum Pearl. Yes, I've used this one and I love it. It is just a nice holographic silver. Okay, here's Platinum Pearl. Just a nice, you know, nice hollow silver. Can never have too much hollow, you know? Up next is Dazzle Lilac. This one seems to be a huge hit online and I don't know if I, uh, if I really know what the fuss is about, but let's take a look. It's really chunky. <laughs> it's just like holographic purple. Okay, so I think Dazzle Lilac's pretty and it'd be nice to put in like a glitter fade or a glitter trail, but it doesn't blow me away, you know? I think it's nice, but I'm not like a huge massive purple fan, so maybe that's why I don't love it as much as everyone else does, but it's nice. Up next is called Good Karma. So this has the same kind of diamond shaped chunky glitters that uh, Dazzle Lilac has. So here's how Good Karma turns out. Again, this is a really great color uh, for fall. I will definitely get some use out of this in the fall. This is the second to last one. So this is called Fairy Dust. I have seen and used this one before. It's the same kind of style with the chunkies, but it's silver and iridescent. So fairy dust is the perfect combination of hollow and iridescent. So that's kind of how it looks, but it's a little bit harder when you turn it over to see it, the hollow, but uh, that's because it's not fully dry. But when it's fully dry, it should be pretty, uh, pretty hollowy. <laughs> okay, last but not least is fascination. This one's the same kind of thing, but I think it's like purple and gold it kind of looks like. Okay, so here's how Fascination looks. It has some royal purple, some like fuchsia purple, and lots of gold in it. So this one's really pretty. This would be nice to do like, I don't know. I feel like I, I'll find a way to use this. This one's really nice. Okay, so here are all the colors. I did not put these in order because I just piled them up in the corner and then now I just put them back on here. So which one is your favorite out of all of these? Do you guys have a favorite? I am really surprised and feel like Jaunty is definitely underrated, you know? I, I just really liked that one. Um, I also, of course, love the greens, and I really like Pink Delight. Some of these I, I really, really like. So let me know down below which one's your favorite. If you didn't see part one, check that one out too to get um, the full collection so you could really see the swatches because I know it's kind of hard on the website to see all the swatches. So let me know down below which one's your favorite. 
check out my other video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong.